Hello, in this video we're going to look at what's great about the Silver Edition Casio calculators. Let's compare two of the calculators here. We have on the left hand side the FX991ES Plus, the standard silver model in the UK, and on the right hand side we have the FX115ES Plus, the standard silver model in the US. We're going to compare the features and functions, so let's have a look now. There is a feature for doing numerical differentiation and integration, great if you're studying calculus at the moment. There's also a variable calculator and solver, so good for substitution or solving equations. There is also the function to be able to sum, so sum a series. And the 115 also features a product function, so able to find the product of numbers in a series. The calculators are also loaded with scientific constants for you to be able to use as well as having the facility to convert between units. The 115ES also has some great extra features. There is a remainder finder, so if you're dividing it will give you your integer component and your remainder. There is GCD, greatest common divisor, sometimes also known as highest common factor, as well as LCM, least or lowest common multiple. There's also two features to be able to isolate the integer part of any value. And there's also a pre-answer function. The answer function gives you your answer or makes use of your answer from your previous calculation. Well, this is going back one step further and it's great for being able to generate sequences. Let's explore the modes menu now. We have a range of modes on both calculators here. One for our regular computational mode. We also have two for dealing with any complex calculations. Three for stat mode. Four for base mode to base of N and there's various different features which are highlighted in green on the calculator. So des is decimal, we've also got hexadecimal, binary and octal and if you do use octal on a regular basis do feel free to comment below, I'd love to hear what you, you use that for. Five is an equation solver, really very useful. Six is for matrix calculations. Seven is table mode which you may be familiar with already and eight is used for vector calculations. The 115 has a bonus once again, it has a second mode menu, which features an inequalities mode, very similar to the equation solver, but obviously dealing with inequalities. There's also the very useful verif or verify mode, which seems to be absent from the 991, and there's also a mode for dealing with distribution calculations as well. Finally, let's have a look at the setup menu. Very similar, the first menu seems to be identical, but the second menu reveals that the 115 has some extra features. There is recurring decimals which seems to be absent from the 991. Stat mode also includes extra features such as being able to calculate the median and the quartiles. And table mode can be adjusted here in the 115 for two functions of x, so an fx and a gx. And that's really great to be able to make comparisons between two functions of x. At present I haven't discovered any features on the 991 that aren't also on the 115, so it appears the 115 is a much more comprehensive calculator with lots of extra features and functions. I hope to be doing a lot more with these calculators in the future and letting you know how you can use the features and the functions for lots of different opportunities and to help you with challenges in your mathematics learning. But that's it for now, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.